Good day everyone. Our discussion today will focus on plate efficiency, specifically the Murphy efficiency. Before we proceed, we will first recall some important terminologies in order to understand deeply our discussion. First, we have the 45 line. We also have the equilibrium curve, which is usually obtained from the given vapor-liquid equilibrium data. Next is the rectifying line, which is the top section of the column, and the stripping line, the bottom section. This Q line here is where you introduce your feed. Once you establish the operating lines, you can now get the stages. Also, we must not forget the reflux ratio, which is L over D. L being the liquid flow rate from the reflux drum, and D being the flow rate of the distillate, also called the top product. In order to translate ideal plates into actual plates, the plate efficiency must be known. This plate efficiency can be divided into three types. First, we have the overall efficiency which concerns the entire column. Next, we have the Murphy efficiency which has to do with a single plate. And this type of plate efficiency is the focus of this video. Lastly, we have the local efficiency, which pertains to a specific location on a single plate. Consider this figure. We denote X as the liquid mole fraction of the more volatile component and Y as the vapor mole fraction of the more volatile component. Say for example, this is plate N. The subscripts of this one and this one is N, since they are leaving the N plate. This one is denoted as XN-1 because it leaves the N-1 plate. And this one is denoted as YN-1 because it leaves the N-1 plate. Formally, Murphy efficiency is defined as the change in vapor composition from one plate to the next divided by the change that would have occurred if the vapor leaving were in equilibrium with the liquid leaving or in symbols we have efficiency based on vapor equals yn minus yn plus 1 over yn asterisk minus yn plus 1 where yn is the actual concentration of vapor leaving plate n yn plus 1 is the actual concentration of vapor entering plate N, and yn asterisk is the concentration of vapor in equilibrium with liquid. To get a better view of this equation, try to look up this graph. For instance, you have a 75% Murphy efficiency based on vapor concentration. You can estimate by moving vertically starting from the bottom. Say this point is 75% of this line, and you move horizontally to the stripping line. You draw another vertical line going to the equilibrium curve, and say this is 75% of that line. Then you can move horizontally to the right, and you can repeat the process till you reach the liquid mole fraction of the distillate XD. And you can now draw an effective equilibrium line, equilibrium curve rather, which will look like this. Notice that in the preceding slides, Murphy efficiency is defined using vapor concentrations, but in reality, measured efficiencies are rarely based on analysis of the vapor phase because of the difficulty in getting reliable samples. With this problem arising, samples are taken off the liquid on the plates and the vapor compositions are determined from a McCabe Thiele diagram. With this, an alternative equation, which is in terms of liquid concentration, can be used. Murphy efficiency based on liquid is equal to Xn minus Xn minus 1 over Xn asterisk minus Xn minus 1, where Xn is the actual concentration of vapor leaving plate N. Xn minus 1 is the actual concentration of vapor entering plate N and Xn asterisk is the concentration of liquid in equilibrium with vapor leaving plate N. In order to distinguish the use of the two equations, 
we consider this graph. We do the same thing, but this time, we start from the top and we move horizontally. Say we still have 75% mercury efficiency based on liquid concentration. We move horizontally and say this is 75%. We move vertically downward to the rectifying line and we move to the left and say this is 75% of this line. Then we move again downward and then we repeat the process till we reach the bottom. And you can expect this graph with two equilibrium curves. The true equilibrium curve and the effective equilibrium curve. To better understand the theory discussed in this video, you can watch our